as most of you are probably aware, for the past few weeks there has been a head game going on on the Hermitcraft server. And today, today is actually the last day. And so I thought to begin today's episode, we are gonna head over and see where we stand. Now, granted, I haven't been, <laughs> I haven't been keeping up with it, but I think I'm still on the leaderboard, and maybe, just maybe. We could, we could be able to come back. At least I want to find out just how far behind I am. Oh my goodness, the diamond pile has moved back and look at how big this is now. This is so crazy. There is, there are so many diamonds. This is solid. This is solid Di <laughs> diamonds. Take a look at this. This is the goal. This is the personal goal right here. This is app. Hello? This is absolutely crazy. Anyway, I'm getting the track. That's new. Welcome to Concrete Complete. Wow, that's a smart, that's a, that's a smart name. Ooh. What? Okay, that is seriously cool. That is seriously cool and seriously loud. And now it goes again. <laughs> it's very easy to get distracted on the server. Wait, I mean, look at this. What is this now? Hermitron Herald. Two diamond block, one diamond block, one diamond block. Happy sun. <laughs> It's a brilliant, a brilliant happy sound. What is this? Future site of Hermiton Herald. You know what that is looking absolutely mega. I love that thing. Anyway, I keep getting distracted. I just want to have a look at the scoreboard or is it? Oh, have I missed it? Is it already too late? Oh no, look. Seriously, I thought today was the last day. I must have missed it. The last day must have been yesterday. <laughs> no. Well, this is embarrassing. That doesn't even seem to be a scoreboard anymore. I guess I, guess I definitely didn't win. Day 21 heads collected. Oh my goodness, people have been going crazy. Look at this tropical fish head. <laughs> I'm seriously happy that we have this data pack on the server where we get heads. I mean, take a, take a look at this. Dolphin head. Hi there, Mr. I got a moustache. Is that a moustache? Does the does dolphins have moustaches? Well... I guess I'm too late. I got myself to blame for not checking up on this frequently enough. I wonder who won. It's gonna be very, very exciting to see who won. I'm genuinely embarrassed for misunderstanding the last day of the head game. I wonder how well I, I did. I did quite a bit of PvPing with people off camera and I kind of collected and held the heads in my base. Yeah, look at this. This is my personal collection. And I know for a fact that some of these some of these are considered more rare. I think Mambo Jumbo's head was pretty rarely considered. Stresses as well. And Ren's. I think Ren's head was really, really valuable. <laughs> That's funny. Ren's head actually fits very well with my body, doesn't it? I couldn't even tell that I'm wearing someone else's head. I mean, compared to Bumble Baggins, it looks absolutely awful. <laughs> Well, anyway, I guess we'll have to find another use for these heads down the line. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure they're going to become valuable again at some point. And now I am seriously curious about who won. Now, last episode, we spent time on building our IBBB, our in-between base base. There was, however, one thing that I completely forgot. And that is this thing, the nether portal. Which is quite weird, to be honest, because how can I forget such an essential part of the base? This should be like the first thing you put into an IBBB, specifically because this nether portal here, I don't think I've shown you this, but this nether portal is wrongly linked up. It takes me to the bottom of the nether at the shopping district. If I go back through here, I end up right here at the shopping district. Now granted, that is, that is a very, very fast way for me to get to the shopping district. But it is also <laughs> it's also a little bit annoying. So I think that's that's that ought to be the first thing I do. Build a new nether portal and link it up from the IBB B. Speaking about the IBB B, I really like the start of this base. I mean, we obviously still have a lot of uh, stuff to do, but I think it's a great start. I really like the grass here. I didn't realize that from the beginning, but I do like the grass mix and everything like that. But anyway, nether portal time. I wonder where I want to put it. I don't know about you, but personally, I really, really dislike the noise of nether portals in general. So I'm just going to put it off to the side. And speaking about the nether, I am seriously excited for the new Minecraft version, Minecraft 1.16. I think the stuff that they've done so far is looking, is looking mega, it's looking absolutely amazing. Anyway, as far as design goes, that is a very, very, very hidden, hidden away little nether portal in the corner. But that being said, it is an IBNP. What in the world just happened? What in the... <laughs> oh my goodness, that scared the life 
out of me. That scared the life out of me. What is... Bamboo. Oh, for goodness sake. Look. What? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> what happened to the smokestacks? <laughs> is this... The, 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 uh, uh, the, he is so weird. Mr. Baggins is so weird. Just go, he says. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, for goodness sake. Before you go, could you pick up my Schalke box from the top of your tree? <laughs> Look at this. He's prepared this whole thing. That is just the weirdest thing. That's that's not even an EP. That's not even an embarrassing plummet. That's a... That's a... a that's a super plummet of doom. Anyway, I guess I guess we'll have to check out what he's up to. <laughs> oh, and I should probably answer him. Okay, lol. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if this is a troll. He's not even here. Mumbo, I'm here. Where are you? At my base. I just forgot to put my Schalke box in the ender chest. Oh, oh, so he can't get, he can't get over here. <laughs> I see. Well, I guess he didn't think of everything. So close yet so far away. Is he gonna come down and greet me? Here you go, mister. <laughs> what took you so long, dude? <laughs> what do you mean? I, I was here before you. And you. Dude, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna do an epic super plummet of doom like that, which by the way, totally epic. That was hilarious. <laughs> that was hilarious. That's great. It, it felt great, actually. You're, you're, I'm prepare for me to do more of those because your tree is like the perfect space for it. Well, next time uh, you do it, remember to set your spawn, bro. Thank you for coming to the hermit challenges area. I've come up with a new way of doing hermit challenges and it's super oh, exciting gosh. and I think you're going to like it. Okay, it's a new way. It feels like there are new things. ways every time we're here, bro. It's like but, swap This is broth? an extra special new way. Okay. Right, okay, this is this is fantastic. I'm honestly surprised at my own genius on this one. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Right, I can't even get it out of my mouth. All right. <laughs> we just put one challenge in the dropper. Okay. I've already put I've already put your challenge in the dropper. So just write write me one, right? Of course, of course you have. You've already So and I should just write you one challenge and then put it yeah, in the dropper. Yeah, one challenge. Whatever you want. You can you can do absolutely anything. Uh, I have to think of and, the spot. And then yeah, we it, hermit challenges. But we get rid of the randomness, okay? Because you know, some of the challenges have been bad in the past. We all know that. Okay, a parrot. How ridiculous is that? I'm sure there was better ones in the dropper. So I thought, why not cut out all the clatter and just give each other one solid, awesome challenge? Okay, and we okay. know exactly what each other are gonna get. So just chuck all it right. into to this dropper in, over here. To this here. one here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I got it. It's in. Cool. Um, yeah. Cool. Get good, dude. I said cut out the clutter. You put one piece of clutter in Okay, the to dropper. be fair, you said that as I had already... I had to think about something on the spot. That's... You, that, you filled it with... What, what, okay, what did you do? What did you do? Improve the Hermit Challenges air. Yeah. Have you just... <laughs> Wait a minute. What you've done here? You've given me a task. You... <laughs> <laughs> That's quite clever, I gotta say. This is why you've changed it into being just one challenge because you've thought you've literally woke up this morning. Oh, oh and the, you've literally, no, no, wait, wait. you've literally woke up this morning. Okay, oh How, how's the flying going? Uh, it's going yeah, great, great. Right, continue. Sorry, normally I just fly off into the distance. It's now a bit awkward when I return. Yeah, you're back. You, <laughs> you've literally woke up this morning. You've had a flyabout. Yep. Maybe you were flying to the monstrosity or something, and then you were like, "Actually, yep. this needs improvement." Isn't that that? Tell me, that's what you've done, isn't it? Well, <laughs> this is so not, not in the slightest. So weird. I just I thought this was the perfect challenge for you. You know, I thought <sighs> you'd appreciate it. In fact, I'm a little bit offended, right, that you would turn around and accuse me of such a thing. Okay, a, a tiny. I've taken what? it a tiny bit personally. But I'm gonna Are there no slide. instructions with what Hermit it means? Like, Hermit challenges, my friend. It just do do your thing. You build good stuff, all right? I expect something not necessarily of the scale of the tree that you're constructing in base form because, you know, that is quite impressive, but similar. Not far off. Right. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> That's... He's managed to do it again. He's managed to do it again. Once again, has Mumbo Jumbo... Completely confused me when it comes to Hermit Challenges. And not only has he given me a challenge of which I'm not entirely sure what to do with, nor what he is expecting, 
he's also managed to change the rules <laughs> once again. I, uh, that being said, though, I will say that I am excited to see what he would do for Get Gooder. Because that was totally a stressed out, just on the spot, on the spot challenge. So the challenge said, improve the Hermit Challenges area. And I'm not entirely sure, like I said, I'm not entirely sure what he's expecting. I guess... I guess he wants us to make this place bigger, but I thought that it would be a lot of fun to actually make it more functional. And maybe, just maybe, make a little bit of sense into this place, because right now, it feels like there are just things added and right- Like, what, what is this? There's just a jungle sapling with the coordinates on, there's just item frames, just chilling. It is, it is super, super weird. I've just had an idea. I've just had an idea. And I don't have the materials required. <laughs> for goodness sake, I'm so poor. And now it's night time. Oh, for goodness sake, I don't have a bed. I can't wait to fully move, move over to the IBBB because this place during night time usually gets super, super dangerous. I think I was quick enough now though. But many a times, many a times this entire area is just filled to the brim with creepers and skeletons, etc. Anyway, even though I don't have the material on hand, what I'm thinking is, what if we would add a mega redstone counter that counts every time a challenge is completed and eventually fills up a mega redstone lamp bar in the middle. So kind of the goal with the whole thing becomes to, becomes to light up the redstone bar. You see, when we complete a challenge, we have to ring this bell. And I've never actually worked with bells, but I think we can read that doing something like this. That doesn't actually do anything. Are you joking me? I thought that... I thought that we could... I thought that we could take a signal from that. That is strange. That's a block state change, Mr. Observer. <laughs> he looks so confused looking at the bell. Nope. Nope. Hello. Nope. Well, that's part of that plan out the window immediately. Dang it. Well, at least this works right. Yes. Yes, it does. Okay, so that means we can't ring the bell manually if we want to count it, but we could use a dispenser and press a button. And then with that button press, we could we could add to a counter. <laughs> it looks like the dispenser is chasing a carrot on a stick. <laughs> go, dispenser, go. Right, so now that we have a way to trigger this, I'm gonna need 27 shovels. I know that sounds weird, but just, just bear with me, all right? <laughs> all right, so the idea is every time we complete a challenge, we send a redstone pulse into this dropper that is filled with wooden shovels, and that will shoot that into a chest, and then a comparator will pick that up and gradually a redstone redstone line will increase power. So right now it's one. If we send another shovel, it's two. Uh, two. <laughs> that's that's good. And then it's still two on the third shovel. On the fourth shovel, it's three, etc, etc. And then we'll use that redstone signal to power a redstone lamp tower. And that means once we've completed 27 challenges, the Hermit Challenges barometer of doom that we're going to build should be completely lit up and 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 then well i guess i guess then we'll have to extend it once again or something like that anyway i need redstone lamps so i think i think it's off to the nether i think it's off to the nether and collect some glowstone which i think i don't think i've done yet this season or so far this season <laughs> is that a natural shaped glowstone cluster it can't be surely i mean it's got a perfect it's got a perfect little ledge here is 15 redstone lamps maybe going to be too tall? I mean, he did say improve the Hermit Challenges area. So I think we're gonna go with this. It looks ridiculous right now, but I think I think we can work with it. Right, I think I got all the redstone hooked up for the comparator to hit the lamps at every redstone interval that increases. And so all I gotta do is connect that up. And if I press this button, yes! That is working. That's one challenge complete, two challenges completed, and on the third one, we shouldn't get a light. Nice. And then on the fourth one, boom. So it's kind of like a barometer more than a counter. Like, eventually, if we do complete all the challenges, I don't know how frequently I can ring this, but if we do complete enough challenges, this thing will fill up. I better test that. Yes, that is working perfectly, and now... We should have all of the shovels inside this chest. 
Nice! With the barometer of doom completed, it was time to put a design on the place. So I collected some vines, some leaves, visited the glass shop, bought some glass, and visited the rocket shop. I, I, I also refueled the rockets. What? I needed rockets. Fed the bird, mined some cobblestone, and burnt some diorite. Always a good feeling. Before returning to Hermit Challenges and scratching my head for a while, thinking about what to do with the place. And trust me, this was a little bit tough because I really like the design that Mambo made for Hermit Challenges. But a challenge is a challenge, and my challenge was to make the Hermit Challenge area better. So I knew I had to go bigger, so I started off by taking down Mumbo's wooden pillars before designing the barometer of doom. And can I just say, I really, really enjoy this whole barometer idea. I think it's going to be <laughs> super, super fun. Anyway, the inspiration for this, or the only thing I could think of, was that I wanted to try and create a ruined Minecraft sort of jungle temple. I know that that was the original feeling that Mambo wanted as well, a ruined place in the jungle to do very weird and sometimes a bit annoying things. And I made sure to have all the things that was there back in, so the fire, the droppers, and some extras, bamboos. And there we have it! I really do think that this is looking absolutely mega and I really really hope, I really do hope that the Mumbo, the Mumbo approves of this so that I can ring the bell because I want to start lighting the barometer up to be honest. Now there is one more thing that I thought of adding to this before we tell Mumbo that it is finished and that is all of the participants in Hermit Challenges' heads because I happen to have all of them and I... Uh, <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I feel like I should put them to good use. This could almost be like a little bit of a totem pole sort of thing. So I'll go there and stress on top of there. Yeah. Oh, oh, for goodness sake. Okay, that is not safe. <laughs> that is not safe. That is the flame of accepting the challenge. But yeah, I think that... That adds to it a little bit, right? And then if we get more members, if Mambo ever does his super weird Hermit Challenges initiation, yay! Which I'm sure he, he'd like to do, then we could just stack them up on the barometer. And that, yeah, that is the finishing touch I feel that we needed. I think I've just had a realization. I think I've just had the silliest realization ever. In Grian's Hobbit Hole, he is powering a bell with redstone. <laughs> Why did I spend time on making an aero dispenser for the counter of the barometer when that works? I am... I am such an idiot! With that being said, I'm really glad I found this out before I showed Mumbo this place because I know... I know that he would have spotted that and, and he would have... He would, he would he would have laughed. Let's be honest. Look look at that. He would have laughed under that mustache at me. So in theory, this should just work as is. Yep, there we go. I I can't believe I can't believe I didn't think about that. I guess sometimes that's just how it is though. When you do a build or a redstone thing, sometimes you just you just get so caught up in the way you'd been thinking about doing it that you kind of forget kind of forget the easy the easy way of doing it. Anyway, I really do hope that Mumbo is going to approve this and that he likes the improvement of the Hermit Challenges. Personally, personally, I really like the barometer, I think. <laughs> it really suits the whole ridiculousness of Hermit Challenges. Oh, and I thought I'd address one thing because I understand that some of you may be a little bit stressed out over the fact that the flames are right next to the leaves, like specifically this one. But we are playing without fire tick on, on the Hermitcraft server. So flame doesn't spread, lightning does not have the possibility to ruin any Omega trees or anything like that. I've seen there's been a lot of comments about that in my, in my comment field and I did want to address it. Ooh, what is this? Monster Brew. New shop opening soon. Please read. Gorgeous Hermit, I will be opening a brand new shop very soon over at the Dropping District and I need your help. Monster Brew is the name of the shop and I call on you to help me decide what potions should be sold. Win Diamonds? Alright, so I've had a read through the book and apparently a new potion shop is opened and I have a chance to win diamonds. All I gotta do is fill in my top three potions that I would be interested in purchasing. 
Splash weakness for the villagers. Regen 2. Strength 2. For the witch to kill the stupid wither, now that I can't trap him anymore. After signing, please return this book to the chest at the Great Willow Tree, over at the shopping district. And then we can win diamonds. Iskal 85 potions. So I guess that means that we need to go and send this book off to the shopping district. And I just realized... <laughs> I, got, I got quite I got quite sidetracked today, didn't I? <laughs> I got quite sidetracked with my nether portal. I guess it's time we actually link this up, so I should take the coordinates and then build another one in the nether. I need obsidian though. I really need to move my storage system over to the IBBB. Still haven't done that. Been busy, alright? It's, it's been a lot lately. <laughs> alright, so I've noted down the cords. I don't know if it's just me or if you guys feel this way as well, but it's always exciting to see... <laughs> it's always exciting to see where, where you end up when you do something like this. If my maths is correct, our portal should be right here. Slap some top. Light it up. And I completely forgot a sign. I do have some shears though. I guess that will have to do. <laughs> right, let's see if this linked up correctly. Yes! Yes, it actually did! And yes, we now have finally a working functioning nether portal. Nice! So let's return this book at the new Willow Tree shop. I haven't seen this yet. The shopping district is really, really coming together. And I think I've spotted our Willow Tree. Take a look at this. This is looking incredible. That is such a nice built Willow Tree. Press for reward. Reward. Please put return books in here. Okay, well, here we go. Pesky bird. I guess we press this then. Oh, okay, I heard two dings. There's nothing here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes! I got two diamonds! Well, that was... That's very... That's very, very nice. All I had to do was sign a book. Thank you. I ring the bell as well for added effect. Boomers. That is a really, really good sign. And then... He's built a building out of diorite. But he's blown it up on the diorite level. Totally approve of that. <laughs> So I guess we have a TNT shop now. I, I gotta say though, I have to make a logo of my own. I absolutely love these things. These things are... Yeah, these things look, look great. While we're here though, I guess we should check our island as well. The only problem with having payment like this is that I have to break it in order to see if I made any diamonds. There was 21 diamond blocks here when I last checked and by the looks of things, we have actually made quite a bit more. Look at that, 29 now. I seriously have to restock this though. That'll probably be one of the things that I may be working on in between episodes. <laughs> this is just looking absolutely ridiculous now. I wonder if there are any good prices left. So that's additionally eight diamond blocks gained from this treasure island. I'm glad, I'm glad that people like it. And I'm also glad that I'm finally making diamonds. And I know this may be a small thing, but I'm also actually really glad that I have a working nether portal that is going to help me loads. Right, so let's put these diamonds on our pile. Already this is, this is looking quite impressive isn't it? Now I can't wait to see what Mambo does to get gooder. And to be honest with you, I, I, I don't actually know what it means to get gooder, so we, we'll see. We'll see what he comes up with. But with that, I really do hope that you have enjoyed today's episode. I think the new Hermit Challenges, Hermit Challenges 2.0, is looking really, really cool. I'm really, really happy with it. And yes, we still have the E in the jungle. But anyway, if you did like the video, do hit the like button down below. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. And I will see you dudes in the next episode.